let us now discuss few important applications of ground wave propagation three important applications have been listed out on the screen the first application is a very famous application in am radio broadcasting am will is one important part of the syllabus of this particular course uh, it is amplitude modulation we will discuss everything about am uh, the transmitter, the receiver and various circuits in detail. So ground wave propagation is used uh, for AM radio broadcasting. The another very famous radio broadcasting is FM. The FM uh, uses the frequency range from uh, 30 to 300 megahertz, specifically 88 to 108 megahertz, uh, in which the propagation used is line of sight propagation. So that that is a uh, the application for line of sight uh, propagation. For ground wave propagation, uh, it is AM radio broadcasting, which is one important application. Now, uh, uh, the ground wave propagation is also used uh, in uh, VLF transmission. VLF is very low frequencies. And uh, VLF transmission has few important applications and hence uh, they also become applications for ground wave propagation. So VLF transmission is used for ship and uh, marine mobile communications and also uh, VLF transmission is used uh, for time and frequency uh, transmission. So these are the three important applications of ground wave propagation. Apart from that, uh, let us discuss a uh, few advantages and uh, dis disadvantages uh, of ground wave propagation. So when it comes to advantages, the very first advantage is that if the transmitted power is large enough, the ground wave propagation can be used to communicate between any two points of a uh, world. So the distance is the important uh, advantage of uh, ground wave propagation. So you can communicate between any two points on the earth, provided the transmitted power is large enough. The second advantage is that the atmospheric conditions do not affect the ground wave propagation too much simply because uh, the transmission is along the surface of the earth. So the atmospheric conditions do not affect them much. These are the two important advantages. Let us have a look at few uh, disadvantages also. The first one is that uh, it has limited range for higher operating frequencies. The distance uh, advantage is only valid at uh, lower frequencies. If the frequency is increased, then we, we had seen uh, in attenuation of ground wave uh, part that the attenuation of the ground wave will also increase faster. And hence for high frequencies, the distance will always be a problem. Uh, if you want to achieve large distance for high frequencies, the transmitted power will should be very very large which may not uh, be possible practically so the first dis disadvantage is limited range but this is disadvantage only for higher operating frequencies next is at low frequencies very tall antenna should be used this is because the antenna height should be at least lambda by four now uh, from the formula of field uh, strength uh, and uh, the voltage signal that we are going to receive on the receiving antenna, we can conclude this important point that the height of the antenna should be at least lambda by four. So only if the height of antenna is lambda by four, the proper radiation of the signal will take place and proper reception of the signal will take place. And you can see that the lambda will increase for low frequencies. So for low frequencies where ground wave propagation is much suitable, we'll have large lambda and in this case, the height of antenna will also be very large. So very tall uh, antennas will be required. So that's one important drawback of uh, ground wave propagation. And point number three is uh, high transmission power is necessary to cover the adequate range. The power in excess of one megawatt is a common thing. Uh, definitely the distance is one very important advantage but that can only be achieved in most of the cases with very large uh, very high transmission uh, power so high power transmission is one more drawback of ground wave propagation which occurs especially when we try to cover the large uh, distance range so that's all about ground wave propagation whenever there's a question on ground wave propagation one can first define what is ground, ground wave propagation uh, with the help of the figure that we had uh, considered in the first uh, video clip 
After that, we can discuss the attenuation of ground waves, the various factors that affect the attenuation. Uh, the next is the field strength uh, formula and uh, the, the voltage signal that will be received on the receiving antenna because this play a very important role in deciding uh, what factors affect the ground wave propagation. And finally, we had seen uh, applications, advantages and disadvantages of ground wave propagation.